you know what I'm saying? It will be easy for you to check a trip whether there is safety before you start it. To be very easy. Because the economy provides for it. He said, when the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. And the word Jesus used was when. You can be born again and the spirit of God may not have come to you. Because scriptures reveal the things that should happen when he comes. A lot of people take for granted the things the Bible speaks about. We just say, okay, I'm born again, that's all. You, are, you don't understand. He will have to come. There is a language that he speaks and your human spirit will need to be able to decode it so that you can operate by it. When he's come, he brings about renovation. He brings about upgrade and your possibilities multiply just when he comes. And my dream tonight is that during the course of this conference, he will come to you. Oh, how many of you preachers of the gospel have gone somewhere to preach before and the Holy Ghost didn't come? So there's no message. Has it happened to you before? He, he's not come. When the spirit of truth is come, he gives you the possibility, the lens to see from his perspective. So you will not know what he's saying. Meanwhile, what he's saying might contradict everything in the environment, but when he comes... It has happened to me many times. Prayed for seven hours for him to come. He didn't come. I was becoming late. They were calling. So I put on my suit. But I knew he had not come. I knew, I knew. All I was going to that crusade ground with was all the ailments of my infirmity because the spirit of truth has not yet come. And they were doing praise and worship. I was hoping he would just pass through one of the songs and come. I was hoping he would just do something. There was a brief prayer session. I was hoping he would just break through the cracks of my soul and come. And he didn't come. So I was walking to the, to the pulpit. It was not me. The pulpit became long. The reason was because he has not come. And when I heard the mic, in a split second, the Holy Ghost came. If you don't know that you are a bag of infirmity, you will not, he will not even come. Until there is an acknowledgement of your insufficiency, your incapacity, your wisdom can't work here, your know-how cannot work here, your strategy cannot work here. Then you are in a state waiting for him to come. Just like the psalmist said, that I'm, I'm, I will look upon the hills from whence coming. My help will come from without me. It will come from, from beyond me. It will come from a distant place. So it means that the gradient has been forged, created for the flow to take place. And when he, who is the spirit of truth, when he comes, he begins to guide you. Like that, yesterday, he began to guide me. Into, that you need to do this kind of stuff. Oh my God, I had to take a sheet of paper. And I began to write. I began to write. I began to write. When I finished writing the first thing, then I moved again in the prayer. Then he, I saw through him again. I saw myself in Uganda. Oh, when the spirit of truth is come, time and space will count for nothing. Because if the system is a mingled system, domiciled upon your heart, he can take you to Kenya. He can take you to Atlanta. He can take you. When he's come, He will come today. He will come today. When he's come. When he's come. There is a hope that he will come. Because I have a mingled spirit. Yeah, there's a hope he will show up. Yes. The, 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 the possibility of him showing up is much more. The, the probability is much more than him not showing up. Because he's locked on my spirit. If he makes a move in my spirit, I will find the frequencies of preaching. I will be able to decode it through the discernment that is in him. If he decides to stand up, I will know there is a movement there. And the voice of God is tied and trapped 
in the movements of God. If you can discern that movement. You need more discernment to know the movements of God and what it means in your heart much more than you need the gift of discernment to decode devils. <laughs> it's a mingled economy. A mingled spirit. And when he comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of himself. Whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. In the moment, can you pray in, in this interlude and say, Oh, Holy Spirit, please come. The issues of my marriage, I don't know what's happening, and you have not come about it, and that's why I dwell in despair. The issues of my job you have not yet come and so there's no perspective about it my understanding is totally unfruitful because you have not come i don't know how to go about the things that surround me the things that bedevil me because you have not yet come but when he who is the spirit of truth shall come he will guide you He will come. He will come. He will come. And there will be a shift. The circumstances will shift. The situations will shift. Suddenly perspective will come. When he who is the spirit of truth come. Make sure you stay in the place of prayer until he comes. Don't change the activity. Oh, you can't do anything apart from him. Without him, you can do nothing. So stay there. Stay there until he Come, 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 Holy Ghost, come. Come, 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 Holy Ghost, come. <laughs> Holy Ghost, come. Holy Ghost, come. Come. Come, 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 Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come, 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 Holy Ghost. Merando so que la mamá. Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. We have the potential of access, not just to access peripheral things, but such things that are domiciled in the depths of God through this arrangement please sit down for 15 minutes Romans chapter 8 verse 16 when I finish with that scripture I will shut down the Bible study then we will shift the service and then you will see him come what we talk about tonight is it's not by power it's not by might there are things that happen when he comes. When he takes over. When you can discern that he is willing to take the stage. And you yield. You shut down with him. So that he can become king. Then nothing will be impossible. He wants to wear you. As his garment and walk around. <laughs> 
Glory to God. Let's do Romans chapter 8 verse 16. I'll continue from here tomorrow. This is a very powerful scripture. It said the spirit, can you change that itself to himself? The spirit himself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. There are two things there. First thing is on the basis of regeneration, the spirit of God is in your spirit. Second thing there is that when the spirit witnesses, he witnesses with your spirit. You didn't get that. Do you, do you know what that means? Ah. It means that the Holy Spirit is transmitting something. Hmm? And then your spirit receives the transmission and they are on the same frequency. Is the, the, the spirit of God bears witness with your spirit. So this is what happens. The spirit of God brings the confirmation that you are a child of God and your spirit now captures the knowing that I'm a child of God. You see, that is what produces assurance and assurance is a spiritual currency. Because by the time we go into the armor of God, you will see something called the helmet of salvation. It means that the devil will come to make you feel as if you are not saved. So there's a security seal that God makes available that makes that attempt to make you doubt your status null and void. And that is occasioned by a confirmation that comes from the spirit of God that is synchronized with your spirit. Listen to me, spirit communicates with spirit. Spirit contacts spirit. So the spirit of God now brings witness. It holds the chapter of confirmation and then that affords your own human spirit the spiritual knowledge of the matter that the spirit of God is confirming. I'm just showing you that inner economy. The source point is the spirit of God. But you see, the arrangement we have is what? One spirit. Are you there? It's one spirit arrangement that we have. But in that one spirit arrangement is the Holy Spirit that brings the confirmation. We just receive your certificate from heaven. You are saved. And then your spirit, true spiritual knowledge, now knows that I am saved. And that is the basis of all true assurance and when the devil now shows up and say do you still remember the last time you fornicated and he tries to bring an accusation but it's not strong enough to dissolve the assurance because there is something deeper than accusation that is sitting on your inside and it has registered a sense of deep rest within you and that rest is a currency that the devil doesn't have any facility to pay for, to remove. Assure us. If the Holy Spirit has come to you, one of the symptoms is assurance. And if you are still in the realm of confusion, though that's the symptom of your insufficiency manifesting. It means he has not come. When he comes, he settles your confusion. He, he doesn't necessarily come to solve the problem. You are not with me. Okay. Let me, give you, let me give you an instance. Because you must understand this economy. I, I went to preach in a crusade. I was sick. So sick. But the people insisted that people will backslide if you don't come. Cry. So sick. And they dragged me to the place 
when I was ministering, people were getting healed. I almost felt, I became dizzy. There was a prayer I prayed. It took me like three seconds to, to know where I was. Because, huh. Then we now finished the crusade and I managed to crawl to the bed that they gave me. I said, Kai, God. Satan came and said, this, this is your, you are dying this night. Oh. You are dying. Death, your death is today. We have planned it for long. You are dying. I actually believed it. I said, huh. So, what will I even miss? Ah, oh, my wife. And she just delivered though. Oh. Hey. That is the state of poverty that you are going to remain if it doesn't come. So I slept. I prayed one religious prayer and then slept. Then Jesus now came in my dream and said, He looked at me like this. He said, Why are you troubled? Just follow me. Don't, don't worry. Just follow me. So when I woke up, Satan came again. I said, Cut! I was told to. If the sickness was still there. It, Jesus didn't touch the sickness. What he did was, he just ministered assurance. The Holy Spirit, do you understand? It's a currency. He doesn't necessarily come to change the situation. He comes to give you assurance first. The mobility that is required for circumstances to change is tied to your feet. And a man that is depressed cannot exercise his faith. There's a hole in your armor. So you can't exercise your faith. And that's why the breastplate of righteousness comes to keep your conscience. You can't exercise your faith. And so when the Holy Spirit, Jesus through the Spirit manifested to me a different perspective came the circumstance did not change but I had victory inside because of assurance and guess what Jesus was saying don't worry indeed that evening there was no more need to worry because the circumstances the devil was capitalizing upon it faded away so one of the things that this arrangement makes available is for the Holy Spirit to bring a superior perspective into your vessel. 